So this is a little VB application. We're showing a list of employees, and we want to have a button that increases their salary by a specific amount. So how do we loop over the records, update them, and reflect the changes? So here's the page um, that shows us those employees. And in this page, we added a little bit of JavaScript, which is this little um, function. Okay, so this function accepts an array, okay, and we're going to tell you in the console what's the length of this array, and then we're going to loop over the array, so running from zero, because um, array starts in zero, and um, for each record, we're going to access the salary and increase it by two. And then at the end, we're going to return this array, okay? So the idea is that we're going to bring into this function the array of records. So now let's go back to our page and let's add another button. And we'll call it uh, salary increase and we'll write some logic behind it. Okay, so we're going to create an action flow. In this action flow, the first thing we're going to do is call our module function. Okay, so this is our function, array modifier. And into the function, we're supposed to pass in an array. So if we click here, our table is based on an array data provider. And if you click and you drill down, you'll find here's the array of data. It's called the data. So we're just going to drag and drop it and map the data itself into the array, and this is the expression that is going to be used. All right, so this is going to then run and update the array, and then we're going to get the value back. So now we need to replicate the data into the table. So again, the data is inside the data provider, array data provider, so we're going to pick up a file data provider event, okay? And we're going to do a mutate, where we're actually mutating the data what we're going to do is we're going to do an update operation. Okay, and you can see there's various things you can pass. The most important thing is the data. So since we're returning the same array from the function, we can just drag and drop it and place it over here, like that. And um, the other thing you can still see there's one more thing we forgot to do is to tell it which data provider we're working on. We're working on the AMPS array. So that's the array data provider. And again, if you go back to the page and the table, and you look at where the data for the table comes from, it's the AMPS array, it's the data provider. All right, so now we're ready to run our application. Okay, you can see the salaries right now. We can click the salary increase, and everyone got two more dollars than what they had before. Click it again, and again, this is the effect. Again, if you look at the console, you'll be able to debug your functionality. So you can see we got an array of 10 records, okay? And those are the salaries after the update. You can see that then this function returns an array with 10 records, and you can see the records that are being returned. And then we're using the fire data provider passing in this data, um, the array basically, and updating this data provider. That's it.